I want to do good, but yeah, I want to be remembered well when when I'm gone. So that's that's going to become my new core pursuit or one of them. All right, now it's time to rock life and we're going to talk about passion with Rock Retirement Club coach Kevin Papa Lions. I'm going to I'm going to stick with Lyle. Well, you're not a lion, you're Lyles. I'm sorry. Kevin, how you doing, buddy? That's all right. Maybe you're a grandfather too now, Roger. You're you're starting to show signs of age. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about passion today. What what area of passion and purpose do we want to explore? Well, I'm going to twist a concept that we hear a lot that is leaving a legacy. And I think that leaving a legacy can be one of your passions in retirement. You know, we talk about you needing several core pursuits when you retire to keep you engaged, to help you have a successful retirement. And when we hear leaving a legacy, what do we think of, Mr. Financial Planner? We think about we think about the money. We think about the money. Yeah. 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 Leaving, and that's not yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's how are you remembered? Uh, what did you, uh, and, and not just how you're remembered, because that seems selfish. I want to be remembered as a great guy. No, it's it's more about being giving in that I want to leave an impact on the people I care about, a, a positive impact. And so I think this You know how I'm going to remember you? You know how I'm going to remember you, Kevin? I hope you don't you're get a chance, BBF. but Al. <laughs> uh, good point. You're my BBF. My best Buckeye friend. <laughs> Probably your only one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. No, that, that's fine. So I, I think as a retiree, and, and as I've recently, as you know, become a grandfather for the first time, I'm starting to think about this more. And so I think it's going to become one of my core pursuits. And I'm going to be very intentional about doing good, about helping, about leaving a good, the legacy that I want to leave. And it's not, like I say, I don't think it's a selfish thing to want that. I, I want to do good, but yeah, I want to be remembered well when, when I'm gone. So that's, that's going to become my new core pursuit or one of them. Well, let's let's define this a little bit more, I think, Kevin. So we're being remembered well is definitely one of them. What comes to mind as you talk about that? And obviously, you've done this very well with your children. Um, but like with your grand your grandson now is, yes, it's being remembered well. But then there's those. Those are specific experiences, but then those there are those lessons that can become a thread that can help guide the life of say a grand a grandchild or a child in terms of how they treat people, how they manage money, how they pursue their career. And those are like those those wisdom nuggets that they keep repeating that they remember, you know, Kevin saying, you know, when they were younger. That can have an impact on the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. And more importantly, you know, as you think about it, you think, what do I want to tell? It's In my case, it's a grandson. So what do I want to tell him? But that's not really what it's about. What's about is how you live your life, how they, what they see you do, not what they hear you say. And that's, that's, and that's a consistency part. thing. And that's the hard right. part, right? Because you're talking about changing how you live and, but, but, but at least being aware of, how do these choices that I make every day, how are they affecting those who are watching me, my children and now my grandchildren? And that's what, you know, I'm trying to be more thoughtful about now. And so what is the about strategy what do. around that? So there are a, a few things. One, you know, when we when we give something to someone or do something for someone, we benefit more by it. Right. We have that great feeling. Mm -hmm. So just tactics here i'm i'm down to tactics not strategy is just making sure as a just one of my goals is i want to do a good deed at least once a week something intentional that i do and it it can be a simple thing or it can be a big thing and i'm sure on a weekly basis that'll go back and forth but you know it's just help helping someone have a better day it can be that simple 
And that's so easy to do. You can do that with a smile and a kind word to maybe it's a store clerk or a waiter or waitress who who's having, you can tell they're having a rough day. You can make their day better just with a smile, a nice word, a bigger tip, just little things, little gestures like that. But if you make them an intentional, regular part of your life, I think that will help your legacy over the long term.